Hello there guys, this is Alex here, bringing you part 12 of What If Deku Was the Reincarnation of Link. Two Heroes, part 2. Where we last left off, after Pura led them to her lab, and presented the Sheikah Slate to the gang, once Izuku touched it, the Sheikah Slate was operational, and after Pura fidgeted with the device, and showing the gang some videos recorded back in the day, Melissa mentioned a party later that evening, and they planned to meet up at the lobby of the hotel at 7. When the time came to meet up, Ida was with his signature karate chops complaining that Izuku was late, although it was only 5 minutes, and complained about ladies for their tardiness, but once the ladies made themselves known, only one was missing and it was Katsumi. She was hiding behind a pillar for some reason. Izuku stunned would say, Kachan, you... you look... But before Izuku could finish the sentence, an alarm goes off. As Phi, coming out of the sword, would say, Master, I detect danger. Please exercise caution. Katsumi, with pouting with anime tears, would say, Great, what in the name of hell is going on now? The gang joined the two. Ida would say, We can't go anywhere. The elevators are blocked. Melissa saying, I checked the type of alarm this is. According to the database, it's supposed to be a bombing somewhere on the island, but the protocol is acting entirely differently. Izuku saying, is there a way to the party? Ida saying, why in the world would you want to go there? Izuku saying, because we can see what is going on and aren't there supposed to be pro heroes there? Pura saying, yep, good thinking. Follow me to the emergency stairs. The gang followed Pura to the emergency stairs. Then Izuku and Jiro went to check on the party from above. Izuku saw the party guests kneeling down and the pros at the scene being tied up by a weird looking rope. All Might on the stage, with a familiar face, Izuku saying, Sidon? What is he doing here? Jiro saying, Izuku, you know who that is? Izuku saying, yeah, but now's not the time. We need a way to get All Might's attention somehow. Izuku used his smartphone flash to get All Might's attention and letting him know that he could hear him. All Might explained the situation and told him what to do. As All Might would say, are we clear? Sidon saying, All Might, who are you talking to? All Might saying to young Midoriya, I told them to get out of here and get help. Sidon, scoffing at All Might, would say, You fool, if you're talking to Lake, he can take an entire army by himself, so a few villains shouldn't be no sweat for him. But I'm worried about Mifa. She's still in her hotel room. Could you ask him if he could check on her? All Might, visibly confused, would say, Okay, I think he heard you, but aren't you exaggerating? Meanwhile, Izuku and Jiro reported the situation. Melissa saying, so it's a hostage situation. That means villains have gone control over the control system. Pura saying, and the only way to free the heroes is to get to the control room, which is on the 200th floor. And Lord Sidon's granddaughter is probably on her way to the party. Mm, quite the challenge, am I right, legendary hero? I wonder, how long will it take you to take care of things? Hmm? Ida saying, whatever you're insinuating is not going to happen. All Might said it himself, we should get out and find help. Pura saying, sorry to break it to you, engine boy. I thought that you were supposed to be heroes in training. How pathetic of you to turn tails and run. But that's besides the point. If you wish to run, go ahead. Your quirk makes it faster for you to do so. And those that share his views of the situation can do so as well. As Griselda would say, Pura's right. It doesn't matter what my dad said, we must try. Izuku, muttering out loud, would say, If I had my whole arsenal, it could have made things easier, but some of them won't even try to collaborate. Then again, I think we could ask for Misfa's help, but the question is, why are the villains here? Katsumi, irritated, would say, Izu, are you done muttering? Izuku, laughing nervously, would say, <laughs> Sorry, Kachan. Pura, 
visibly excited, would say, So, tell us, hero of legends, what's your plan? Izuku saying, plan, what plan? Pura, with the foxy grin, would say, yeah, the plan that you already came up with. So, tell us, are you planning to storm the Tower of 200 Floors by yourself? Izuku saying, what? No, even if that were the case, once I get to the top floor, what then? I don't know how to take control of the security system, so I at least need someone to take care of that. And someone else joining wouldn't hurt, considering I only have my sword with me. As Pura cheerfully would say, not a problem, take this. Throws a disc-like object to Izuku. Izuku inspecting the object saying, um, thank you? Not to be rude or anything, but what is this? Pura saying, that, dear hero, is a plasma shield, similar to the ones on the blueprints of the man Hide Guardians. Made with ancient technology, it's nearly indestructible. Izuku saying, okay, I guess, but... Let's discuss the strategy to get to the top of the tower. As Ida would say, Midoriya, are you even listening to yourself? We aren't pros and... Izuku with a determined voice would say, And so what? Tell me, do you think we should let the villains do whatever they want and get away with whatever they are planning? Everybody except for Katsumi, Griselda, Paya, Melissa, and Pura looked down not knowing what to do. Ida saying, That's not what I meant. We're still students. We aren't allowed to use our quirks, so... Izuku sighing, saying, Then, I'll go alone and make sure everything is clear. Then come back here and escort Melissa and Pura to the top. Ida saying, That is madness. You want to go alone in the jaws of the enemy, but you... Izuku saying, Quirkless? I'm fully aware. And if all of you are afraid of doing anything, then do nothing. Sit back and relax while I take care of things. Izuku, with a look that seemed emotionless for the fact he was hiding it, he was going up the stairs with the Master Sword, drawn and the disc, the Plasma Shield, deactivated in his left hand, leaving Class 1A without any warnings. Katsumi was furious and called out to Izuku, but he ignored her, please. Katsumi pissed would say, Four Eyes, you're one heck of a dumbass, always sticking to the rules, you're just a pathetic wannabe hero that thinks everyone will play by the rules. If you're that naive, just sit back and let the big kid show you how it's done as she would be making her way to the stairs. Ida, gritting his teeth, would say, Bakugo-san, you intend to follow Midoriya? Katsumi saying, yeah, I got a problem with that. I gotta make sure that my idiot doesn't get himself killed while being on his own. And like Izu said, wusses should stay here and hiding in fear. And while you're at it, why not get out of the hero course entirely? Ida was heard from Katsumi's word and also hit home with Mineta and Kaminari. Momo made a little speech, as Momo would say, I think Katsumi is right. We should go and help out Izuku out. He can't do this alone, now can he? Everybody's reflecting on what to say, as Griselda would say, I don't know, but if he's anything like his former self 5,000 years ago, we got nothing to worry about. Katsumi saying, shut up. Griselda confused would say, huh, what's wrong? Katsumi saying, I said, shut up. Right now, Izu's going to the jaws of the enemy, all alone, no backup, a replacement shield, and the rest of his arsenal in our hotel room. And you say, we got nothing to worry about. You must be delusional. Griselda, very angry, would say, excuse me, I'm not delusional. I'm confident in his skills. Unlike you, I've known him for thousands of years upon thousands of years, lifetime after lifetime, and I know what he's capable of. What do you know? Katsumi, starting to get very pissed, would say, I don't know about all that, but what I do know is the face that he made just before he left us, without any warnings. If you don't want to go, just stay out of my way. Griselda saying, Katsumi, you aren't making any sense. Katsumi saying, well, excuse me, princess. Allow me to clear it out for you. Clearing her throat, while the lot of you decide on what to do, I will go and find Izu and make sure that he doesn't get himself killed. That said, most of Class 1A were feeling guilty. Katsumi was about to head up the stairs, but Momo stopped her. Katsumi saying, what now, Momo? Momo saying, here, take this. It's dangerous to go fighting like that. Katsumi smiles gently, saying, thanks, Momo. She runs after Izuku. Meanwhile, Izuku made his way to the 80th floor, but couldn't make it past it for the stairs from the next floor onwards because it was sealed off. So he saw the only option available. He opened the door of the 80th floor and was checking if the villains were there, but the hallway was getting sealed off by metal doors. 
but Ice was making sure that they wouldn't shut. Izuku, visibly confused, Shoto, Kirishima, and Nifa too? Before they could discuss, Izuku notices a door. They broke the door down and entered the room that had a lot of plants. Izuku saying, what are you doing here? Kirishima saying, we were looking for the party, but we got lost. Mifa saying, I too was looking for the party, but I didn't know where to go. Then I stumbled with these twos, and here we, here we are. Izuku chuckling, whoa, you got lost on the 80th floor while the party was on the very bottom of, of this building? Shoto saying, I never wanted to go to the party. Izuku saying, oh well, the party's over, and if you hadn't noticed, villains made their way to the control room and took over the entire building, not to mention the entire island, and the guests at the party are their hostages, as well as the people on the island. Kirishima saying, what about the others? Are they okay? Izuku saying, yeah, they're fine. They're probably hiding somewhere while I take care of things, I guess. Shoto saying, what do you mean? Izuku saying, like I said, they're probably hiding somewhere. I could tell they had no intentions of doing anything about the situation at hand, so I thought I should do it myself. Mifa saying, you never cease to amaze me, but it seems that the Hylians over the centuries became cowards. Izuku saying, Mifa, before I forget, your grandfather was worried about you, so he wanted me to check on you. Mifa, blushing a bit, would say, as you can see, I'm perfectly fine. In any case, what are you planning? Izuku saying, I was planning to reach the top, clear the area, then go fetch someone to take control of the security system, but I think I got ahead of myself, so I would like your help. Kirishima saying, Izu bro, like I said in class, I'll follow you. Shoto saying, in honor of our new friendship, count me in. Mifa, blushing a bit, would say, I don't know how much of use I might be. I don't have my trident, but I'll do whatever I can. Izuku saying, thanks, now let's go. The group was interrupted by the sound of an elevator opening and two villains coming out of it, but they were taken care of easily. Sometime later, Katsumi shows up wearing biker shorts under her dress and Jiro's jacket. Izuku saying, Kachan, what are you? Katsumi, out of breath, saying, you could have waited five more minutes, you know? I ran up like 79 floors, like a lunatic. Looking behind Izuku to see the villains trapped in ice and knocked out would say, And you didn't leave any for me. What the fuck, Izuku? Mifa saying, Great, the bitch is here. Look, took you long enough. Katsumi saying, Well, sorry to disappoint fish for brains, but I was kind of busy running up 79 floors. Izuku saying, Please, can you stop arguing? We still have 120 floors left, and I... Kirishima pointing his finger above the door they came from, saying, Sorry to interrupt, but aren't those the same robots you faced on the first day of school? Izuku glanced at Kirishima and turned his head to where his finger was pointing at, only to see a large number of those mini guardians that Izuku fought on the first day of UA. But that wasn't all. There were more and more popping out of an opening throughout the entire room. The five students stood back to back, wondering what to do. Izuku saying, Hey, Mifa, if we were to get one of the, their spears, will you be able to do, I don't know, fight? Mifa smirking, saying, If you can grab me one of those spears, I'll show you what I'm made of. Katsumi pissed would say, No need to show more than you already are. Naked fish with jewelry. Did you forget your clothes or something? Mifa pissed would say, Why, you little? Kirishima saying, Please, can you stop arguing? Can you see we're surrounded by these robots? Shoto saying, He has a point, you know. After we're done taking care of the mastermind behind this attack, then you can do whatever you want. Katsumi and Mifa in unison would say, fine, let's get this over with. Izuku leaped into action, and with his reflex and agility, not to mention by slowing down the perception of time, he managed to cut off one of the robot's arm that had a plasma spear, or in the game known as a guardian spear plus plus, passing it to Mifa. Then the group fought until none remained, with a few injuries here and there. Izuku, out of breath, would say, Did we get them all? Kirishima exhausted, punching the last one that he was struggling with, saying, Yep, I think that was the last one. Can we rest a bit? I'm tired. Mifa, exhausted, would say, Indeed, I need water. I'm dehydrated. Shoto, with frostbites on his right side, would say, I need to warm up, and I'm good to go. Katsumi saying, 
while exhausting and pouting, would say, why did these villains have to attack today of all time? They are starting to be a pain in my ass. Once I get my hand on the mastermind, I'll fucking kill him for ruining everything. As Mifa, surprised, would say, wow, Miss TNT, I thought you wanted to be a hero. Why the sudden murder spree? Cuts me angry, would say, why? Why, fish stick? I'll tell you why. These damn villains just made it personal by interfering with me and my plans. As she would start monologuing. And that alone is a death sentence from me. Izuku surprised would say, Damn, Kachan, I think your hero name should have been Explosion Murder, especially if you're going to threat them, threaten the villains like that. Katsumi confused would say, I know, right? I want to go with that. But Midnight said it was no good. Izuku, Katsumi, Shoto, Kirishima, and Mifa relaxed a bit and catching their breaths while chatting. After a few moments passed, the group was ready to go, but someone called out, saying, Hey, you guys, hold up. Izuku turned around, looking, and saying, What? Uh, Griselda, what are you doing here? Griselda saying, Oh, simply, actually, we had to convince the wusses, and everyone is now here. Izuku, looking behind Griselda, would say, Um, I don't see anybody besides you. Griselda, angrily, she stomps to the hallway, saying, Guys, hurry up, the coast is clear. Slowly, if you had a time, into the room where Izuku and the rest were, only see that they're exhausted, and most likely for the 79 floors, they had to climb. Izuku saying, I see you've made it. What took so long? Mineta saying, What took us so long? The stairs, obviously. Do you think we're all like you? Izuku chuckling, saying, Of course not, but I'm glad that you're all here. A loud noise interrupted the group, and something fell from the ceiling, making a big dust cloud covering the entire thing. Nobody could have made out what it was, but the only thing visible was a glowing mechanical eye as it turned to where the students were and fired a laser beam directly towards them. But Izuku stood in the way of the beam and he parried it with the plasma shield sending the beam away from the group, but breaking the shield in the process, Izuku saying, great, now what the hell is that? Griselda saying, for the love of Nehru, don't tell me. Pura saying, Sorry to break it to you, but it indeed is. It's a full-size and fully operational guardian that we were working on, but how? And to be continued. So in this case, guys, I hope you like this part. Uh, Ed really wants to continue on this one. I, You can see his dedication, just that uh, my dedication is wavering, to be honest. Mine is, his isn't. <laughs> And in this case, uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. I'll see what else I can do for next week. Because I'm most likely going to do some uh, some artwork for Dragon Ball 1 and some other stuff. Mm. Let me see what I can do first. But in any case, I hope you liked the video and have a good day or a good night. Peace.